Hello everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. I want to share with you the steps for disbudding a baby goat and how to relieve them of that burning sensation. There's a lot of people, including myself, that have taken goats to be disbudded by you know a vet and usually what they do is they sedate them and they have to be very careful because it can be very dangerous. However, that's not why I stopped taking them to the vet to be disbudded. It's more about the um, not doing it right and getting scars on babies and even disbudding a goat that was pulled because the vet was not sure it was pulled. So once I realized that the vet knew less that I did about goats, I decided to do it for myself. Okay, so for this budding, I'm gonna show you what I use, and then I'm gonna show you how I do it, but at the time that I'm doing it, I'm in my zone, and I really cannot explain, so, so it's gonna be kind of cutting to different parts of the video. So the first thing that I recommend is some kind of a welding glove or something where you can protect yourself and you're going to want to wear it on the hand that you're not going to be holding the this budding iron. The one that I have and I'll link it down below is the Reinhardt 30 and it's supposed to be connected directly to the wall not on an extension um, because it needs to be super super hot in order to work well so those are the two things that go together with one hand I hold this with the other hand I have the glove so that way if I you know accidentally touch my hand I'm not gonna burn myself <laughs> then this is needs to go to the fridge right now so I'm gonna show you but this is the tetanus antitoxin this is for cows and this is a one dose for cows, but for goats, you get five doses because you give them one ml or one cc. This is supposed to be in the fridge until you're gonna give the injection to the goat. When I'm gonna do it, I like to have it like this, so that way when they come, I give the injection and I keep things moving along. The next thing I recommend is shaving the goat just where the buds are and I'm gonna cut a little bit more towards the nose for bugs because I'm going to do like a bigger area but I'm gonna try to get as specific so they don't have that bald spot for weeks after that. Then you move up to this this budding iron. What I do is only five seconds so I grab it, I'm gonna show you with my hand. I grab it and I'll go one, two, three, four, five, and lift. As soon as I do that, I apply the eyes on it. Now that's gonna give the immediate relief to the kid that otherwise it's gonna feel the burning sensation for much longer. Now, sometimes that will help the cap come off. Sometimes it will get stuck to the ice pack, so make sure it's a clean ice pack. But um, sometimes it doesn't. So just so you know, you can see some blood and you can see sometimes the cap lift when you put the ice. But the ice is only for the comfort of the goat. Once I'm done, then I go into the other one and I do the same one, two, three, four, five, and lift. And then I give the relief immediately to the bud with this. And it really does help. I promise you it helps and it gives them that immediate um, coolness that they really want as they're burning. Now once that's done, you never want to burn the same one twice immediately. You see, we're gonna do it again. And so, 
all I can say is I focus on getting the ex the time done you know the 10 seconds done but in different stages now that in my head and according to my research what it does it's give them a chance to cool down before you continue to burn now there's people that do the 10 seconds and they have no problem I'm just sharing what works for me that I And we're gonna do a number eight on the boy. So I'm gonna go in the middle of that circle and do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, and lift. Same thing, we're gonna apply the eyes. We're gonna wait until the kid calms down a little bit. And once it's cooled down, we move on to the next bud. And we're gonna do the same. One, two, three, four, five, and lift, apply the eyes again this is how I do it and it's only because I find that they like the eyes but there's a lot of people that don't use it now once I'm done if I see a ring around the bud that it's perfectly and it's copper then I won't do it again if I don't see that copper ring then I do the same thing same procedure all over again at least one more time you really want to get it done this time that you have everything set up and ready you don't want to do it like if it's bleeding you can use cornstarch i always like to have cornstarch at hand so i grab a handful and I press it on the butt really really hard so I can make the blood stop if I'm gonna use this I typically don't spray with aloe shield because it's gonna get a little cakey and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that but if we don't have any bleeding we're not gonna use the cornstarch I'm going to spray immediately aloe shield and this aloe shield is basically um, bandage and they use it at my vet I really do like it I feel like it works and I use it if you have blue coat if you have other things and you think that would be better you might as well aloe shield I think I think I paid $30 for this little uh, container so it's not cheap but is that gonna be fine? I know, I know, I know. I got it. I got it. I'm so sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry, baby. And we're almost done. Ah, va. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm sorry. I got it. I got it, puppy. Good job. You're a big boy. You're a big boy. Good job, baby. You're okay. I got you. I know. I'm so sorry. I got you. It's scary, but we'll let the pony to work as a dash, okay? I know, my amor. I know, Sienna. Ahora vamos con mamá a tomar teta, ¿ok? You're a good man. Good man. Okay, okay. 
Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. I know. I know. I know, sweet boy. I know. You're almost done. Almost done. Oh my goodness, are you okay? So okay. you can choose to follow whatever advice you find on the internet and I think in the end you just have to try it for yourself and see what it work, what works for you. My only concern with leaving the iron for 10 seconds or a little bit more is just the, the danger of having that much heat in that area because there are cases when the iron is left for longer than it should and they get very sick and die so I understand wanting to get it done right and not having any scars especially with bugs but I don't think it's all about you know how rough you are or how deep you go it's more like giving them breaks in my head it's about giving them breaks have a chance to cool down and then continue to do it and that way it's not only better for them because the second time that you do it it doesn't hurt that much because it's already burned but at the same time it gives me a chance to be a little bit more precise and pay attention exactly what I'm doing each time that I'm doing it so sometimes I do 10 seconds so I do five put the eyes give a break go to the other one do five put the eyes give a break come back and do the other five and that's you know that's gonna be a total of 10 seconds and sometimes I do 15 seconds and sometimes I do 20 seconds but what's important to me is to see that copper ring and if it's a buck to have that eight figure that I'm starting to do it this year so I don't want to retouch this I just want to do it once do it right and hopefully not have to deal with it again in their lifetime so I hope that this was helpful I hope that you can take something and try it and see it with your herd and adjust things however they will work better for you so if you enjoyed this video if you're enjoying vlogmarch please take a second and like the video leave a comment down below especially if you're a new one so I can give you the proper welcome and I'll see you guys next time bye guys